How to create roaming and mandatory profile plus home folder in Windows 10 latest edition. First of all, we will create a new user. Right click on this PC and select manage. Expand local users and groups. Select users. Create new user. You can create a user by any name. But I am creating a user named Sumit in my PC. After create this user go to Thick PC. Open Drive. Create a new folder. You can name the folder anything. But I am keeping the name of this profile. Share this profile folder with everyone full permission. After share this folder go to local user and group. Go to Sumit user properties. Click on profile tab. Fill profile path. After fill profile path. Copy the profile path. Click on connect choose any drive letter and paste the path. Click on apply. Click on OK. Close all consoles. Sign out user. Log on as Sumit user. Click on accept. After log on Sumit user. I am changed some basic settings like icon on desktop. Open this PC. See the network home folder. Now I am checking user profile. Go to run and type. SYSDM.CPL Put admin password then press enter. Click Advanced. Click Settings under User Profile. See Sumit User Profile. Currently Sumit is showing roaming user profile. Now watch carefully how to convert it to mandatory. Click on OK. Click on OK. I am create a new shortcut on server in Sumit Desktop. Sign out user.
Sign in as admin. Open this PC. Open Drive. Open Profiles folder. Currently showing two folders of Sumit. One is the Network Home folder in which Sumit will store his data and the other version is 6, which has all the settings of Sumit's user profile. Double click on Sumit version 6 folder. Cannot even open the folder admin of Sumit version 6. To open this, the admin has to take ownership of this folder, then the admin will be able to open it. Go to Property Sumit version 6 folder. Click Security tab. Click Advanced. Click Change. Fill admin and click Check name. Click on OK. Click on Replace the owner on subcontainers and object. Click on Apply. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on OK. Open the Sumit version 6 folder. Some files are already hidden, such as ntuser.dat. We have to unhide this file. Click on View. Click on Options. Click on View. Select Show Hidden Files and Folder and Drive. Uncheck the Hide Protected Operating System file. Click on Apply. Click on OK. Rename the ntuser.dat file to ntuser.man. Click on Yes. To rename this file we have to go to the Security tab again. Go to Sumit version 6 folder properties. Click Security tab. Click Advanced. Click Replace all child object permission entire with inheritable permission entries form this object. Click on Apply. Click on Yes. Click on OK. Click on OK. Rename the ntuser.dat file to ntuser.man. Click on Yes. After change name hide the all files and folder. Go to Profile Folder Properties. Click Security tab. Click Advanced. Click Change. Fill Sumit and click Check Name. Click on OK. Click on Replace the Owner on Subcontainers and Object. Click on Apply. Click on OK. Remove the administrator in permission entries. Click on Add. Click Select a Principal. Fill Sumit and click Check Name. Click on OK. Click Full Control. Click on OK. Click on Apply. Click on OK. Click on OK. Sign out user. Log on as Sumit user.
Go to run and type sysdm.cpl Put admin password then press enter. Click advanced. Click settings under user profile. See the Sumit user profile. It is showing mandatory profile. In this mandatory profile user cannot change the desktop related settings like add or delete data or icons etc. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.